little episode. Uh, you know me. Hello, guys. I only really publicise positive stuff, but I've just experienced something in everyday life that I'm going to share with you. I'm walking down the street. I've just been to the bank to withdraw with my hood down, by the way, a considerable amount of money. Um, and I hear a group saying, yeah, they've just followed that guy off the bus. And I see uh, a, a white guy, a normal guy, surrounded by about four or five um, young lads. Three of them were black, one of them was Asian, one of them were white. And he looked um, relatively intimidated and they're bullying him, like being really, really, really aggressive. And I thought to myself, it's not really my place to, to get involved. It's not my drama. But saying that, as a man with a history, as a man that can defend himself, do I have a moral obligation to get involved and put a stop to that poor guy getting intimidated when he could possibly get hurt by them? So I intervened because I detest bullies and I said to them in no uncertain terms, how about picking on me? But before you attempt to do that, understand I will absolutely obliterate every single one of you and how about you apologise to this guy before I lose my temper? That perhaps isn't the best way to deal with a situation like that. But when you've turned such a corner in your life and you see normal people being disrespected by idiots that are being influenced by too much bullshit on TV, too much influence on their friends, I saw it as my position to get involved. Fair to say those bullies shit their pants. Fair to say those bullies now are questioning how tough they really are. It's fair to say I acted slightly out of character, but it was a lesson that I had to teach five dickheads. The moral of the story is this, no matter how big or bad you are, there's always someone who's prepared to test how tough you believe you are. Today I was that man. Peace and love, Louis.